Hello kids, and today we have three amazing games. So let's play our first game. Let's start. And today we're gonna learn about the wild animals. And today we also have two friends with us. We have the tiger and we also have the camel. All right, so let's start. So first, let's start with our wild animal puzzle board. Okay, so let's pick our first animal. And the first animal that we're gonna pick, let's take this one. And let's turn around and who we have here. Do you know who it is? Do you know his name? Yes, it's a zebra. It starts with letter Z. Zebra. Great. And zebra has the black and white stripes, right? So, where we should place the zebra? Let's find the place for the zebra on this board. Let's try our first, maybe here. Could it go? No. If we're gonna turn around, no. So, we can turn around the zebra, right? In every position. So, maybe like, let's try here. But if we're gonna turn around, and yes, great, it worked pretty well. So we found our first animal. Okay, let's continue with the next one. And let's pick this big puzzle, right? It's really big one and really heavy. So let's turn around. And who we have here? Do you know who it is? Can you say it? Let's say on one, two, three. It's a mama elephant. Great, well done. And who we have here? It's a baby elephant. Great. So let's take this puzzle piece and let's find the place for it. So you see that this is the small one. So we can place here or here or here or here, right? So there is only one place where we can place our elephants. So let's do it together and congratulations, we found second puzzle piece for our board. Great, we found two wild animals, one zebra and two elephants. Great, let's continue. So the next puzzle piece that we're gonna take, gonna be mm, this one. So let's take this one and turn around and who we have here, can you see? We have here with the two horns, you see it smiling. Who is that? It's a rhino, great. And let's look where we can place our the rhino, the animal. So maybe we can try here. No, it doesn't work here. So maybe we can turn around. No. So if we're gonna turn around, maybe like this. No, but we need the image to be seen. So we're gonna pick this one. So the rhino goes like this and find the place. Great. So the next one. Oh, who we have here? Here we have Mr. Pig helping us. Okay, we're gonna listen to Mr. Pig and Mr. Pig gonna help us to find the next animal. So Mr. Pig gonna choose. So let's see. Mr. Pig is saying this one. And what we have here. Mr. Pig is saying that this is not animal and Mr. Pig is right. So this is the tree and the name for the tree is Savannah tree. Great, so we're gonna take this one and place it right here. Amazing, and Mr. Pig is pretty excited about the next one. So let's take the next one. Let's see where Mr. Pig is going. He's saying that we should take this one. So let's turn around and who we have here? Oh, we have like a really big animal. And who is that? Can you say, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that this is the buffalo. Great. So let's take our buffalo and let's find the place. Should we place it here? No. Should we place it here? Yes, we found another animal. We already found four animals. One, two, three, and four. And we also found savanna tree. So let's give the Mr. Pig the try to find the next one. Okay, you, 
This one. Okay, let's take this one. And who we have here? You know this animal. It's a king of the jungle. Who is that? It's a lion. Okay. And where we should place the lion? Let's find the place. Should we place it here? No. Let's maybe... Where the lion is going? Lion is going here. Great. We found the lion. The king of the jungle. Okay, let's find the next one. And let's listen to Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig is saying that this one. We should take the, this one. Okay, let's take animal and who we have here also it looks like a lion but this is the different animal it's called leopard and it starts with letter l leopard l great so where the leopard is going leopard is going to his place and yes great we found another animal okay so let's Maybe turn around this one. And who we have here? This called monkey. Okay, and where is the monkey going? Let's see where the monkey is going. M, monkey. Here is the place for the monkey. And yes, we found another animal, the wild one. So we only left with the last animal. And let's turn around and who we have here? with a long neck you see it's a really long neck okay it's called giraffe great we found the giraffe so we're gonna take this giraffe and place it into our board and where we should place on our board can you say to me where i should place this yes you're right i should place it here good job so let's place our giraffe here great amazing and we completed our puzzle with the help of Mr. Pig. Okay, great. So we've completed our first puzzle. So let's continue with the next one. So the next one gonna be the cubes, right? So who we have, who, who we need to find here is the tiger. Okay, and Mr. Pig gonna help us. So Mr. Pig is saying that the first step that we should do is to turn around all the puzzle pieces and try to see if there is the tiger so is here is the tiger right so we're gonna place it here so the next one is this a tiger can you see yes it's a tiger it's a tiger okay let's place it here so the next one let's turn around and see if we we need to look for the tiger let's turn around and Yes, here is the tiger. Another puzzle piece. So we already found three. So the next one, let's turn around and see if there is the tiger. Let's turn around the... Oh, who is that? It's the tail of the tiger. Great. So we found four puzzle pieces. Let's turn around and see if there is the tiger. And... Hmm. Let's ask Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, what do you think? Is this a tiger? <laughs> yes, Mr. Pig is saying that this is the head of the tiger and the ear. Okay, we're gonna take this to our puzzle piece. And then the next one. Let's give to Mr. Pig to see which one. He's saying this one. We should take this one. Okay, let's do it. Turn around and see if there is the tiger. Let's turn around. Hmm. It seems to be there is no tiger. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that there is no tiger, but he's saying that here is the apples, right? And here we have apples. So it seems to be that this is from the tiger puzzle piece. Great. Okay, the next one. Let's turn around and see if there is the tiger. Hmm. And if we don't know if it's a tiger or not, we're gonna ask Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, where is the tiger? Mr. Pig is saying that we should turn around and... Yes, here is the tiger. Great. Let's place. And then the next one. Who we have here? Here we need again to find the tiger. Let's look for the tiger. T, tiger. Great. And Mr. Pig is saying that this is the tiger. Amazing. So we only have last piece that we need to turn around. And let's look. 
who we have here the tiger right we need a tiger hmm mr big what do you think mr big is saying that this puzzle piece is tiger because this one is the small part of the tiger ear okay let's trust mr big and place it here great and right now mr big is saying that we should combine them so we should start with what mr big we should start with face so here's the face of the tiger right so here is two puzzle pieces that we're gonna connect then we're gonna continue with the mouth so this and this together great we have a face of the tiger and mr pig is saying that we should continue with the tail of the tiger so we're gonna take the tail and here we have the tail and here we have another part of the tiger great it looks really good so then we need so here we have apples you see the red apple and here we have red apples so we're gonna combine them together like this amazing and then we have a small part of the head of the tiger and great and here is another part of the tiger remember the mr pig said that said this to us the small part of the ear thank you mr pig and well done we've completed the tiger puzzle amazing this is another wild animal so let's continue with the next one thank you mr pig so the next one gonna be the camel okay so and mr pig again let's listen to mr pig mr pig is saying to us that we should turn around them and try to find the camel first before we start to combine them so let's try to find the camel hmm mr pig is this a camel yes so here's our first puzzle piece of the camel great so let's turn around and if we need help we're gonna ask mr pig this seems to me like another puzzle piece for the camel and let's try to connect like this great we've combined our first puzzle pieces so let's again turn around and see for the camel okay let's look for the camel hmm let's ask mr pig mr pig is this a camel <laughs> yes mr pig is saying that this is the camel so we're gonna place it here okay let's do the next one and try to find the camel right camel C camel okay where it could be hmm mr pig let's ask the mr pig mr pig what do you think and mr pig is saying that we should take this one try it okay let's take this one and place it here at the moment great so the next one let's take this puzzle piece and mr pig what do you think of this one it seems to me like a yellow sand that what we need yes mr pig is saying yes so let's place it here and then take another one and rotate and if there is the camel let me know right say yes if you see the camel yes here is the camel good job we found another puzzle piece so then let's take this one and rotate and see if there is the camel mr pig is this the legs of the camel great let's take this here so the next one let's rotate and see if there is the camel mm. there is the camel yes this is the camel okay so then let's try to find here if there is the camel mm. seems to me let's turn around again and see if there is the camel mr pig can you help us mr pig saying to rotate this side okay yes mr pig yes he's saying that this could be the camel okay nice we found all the puzzle pieces for the camel great and mr pig gonna help us this time so mr pig is gonna combine the face like this great thank you mr pig and then mr pig gonna take this part right so this one and then yes great amazing so we almost have three puzzle pieces combined so the next one mr pig is saying we should take the legs thank you mr pig amazing and the next one 
could be the tail, right? Amazing. So we are moving really fast. You're doing so well. So let's take this one. And Mr. Peak is saying that this could be the another puzzle piece that could help us. Could help us to combine those puzzles. So let's help Mr. Peak. And great, amazing. So then the next one. Mr. Peak is saying that we, this we should take. Okay, let's take and help Mr. Peak. And yes, thank you, Mr. Peak. Amazing. So we have left with two puzzle pieces. So Mr. Pig is saying we should take this one. And what did it say, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig is saying that we should turn around like this. Yes, and then great. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. Okay, so we have the last puzzle piece. This one, right, Mr. Pig? Yes, so let's turn around and should we do like this? <laughs> Mr. Pig is saying no, we should turn around and place it this way. Yes, Mr. Pig? What do you think? <laughs> hmm. Let's try this. Let's try that. And then, okay, let's do this. Seems like great. <laughs> yes, Mr. Pig is saying yes. Amazing. Okay, so we completed our camel puzzle. So here we have a camel in the sand, right? Thank you, Mr. Pig. Thank you. So we completed the camel puzzle, right? We've completed the tiger puzzle, right? So we've completed two puzzles. And we also learned about the wild animals. Great. So we've completed one by one and you've done this amazing and great. See you in the next video. Thank you, Mr. P. Great, we just finished our first game. So let's continue with the second one. Let's go. Oh, kids. And today we're gonna learn about the letters. We have here the alphabet. And we also have here the puzzle with unicorn and with a castle. And you can see that there is a princess that's going out from the castle. And let's start and let's begin our journey. Oh, where are the letters gone? And we also don't have puzzles. Hmm, but we have the crayons and we have a lot of them. Hmm, let's start with the orange crayon and let's take it and shake. Let's open it. Wow, we have here two puzzle pieces and three letters. So let's start with the puzzle piece. And let's turn and here we can see the rainbow and the part of the unicorn. Hmm, where it could go. And also we can see that here is the ear of the unicorn. So it could go, yes, it could go here, great. And here we have the tail of the unicorn. And let's think where we can place. Let's look at this puzzle board. Yes, yes, you're right. We can place here in a corner. Great, we found two puzzle pieces. Let's go for the letters. So here we have the letter G. And we need to place it. Yes, here, great. And here we have the letter R. And we need to place it, yes, sounds like this, R. And here we have the letter I. So let's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And it's a red color. This is violet color. And this one is orange color. Let's keep going. Let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the pink. Oh, we have two puzzles here, great. Let's see where we can place them on the board. Hmm, here you can see the road to the castle. And here is also the tail of the unicorn. And here is the road to the castle. So we can place like this, we can connect two puzzle pieces and here, we have a bow 
on the hair of the unicorn. And here is the bow, the yellow bow of the unicorn. So let's maybe try to place here in the middle and connect all of them. Great! Amazing! We found four puzzle pieces. Let's continue with our alphabet. So here we have letter K. K, K. So it is A, E, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. K. Great! And it's a yellow color. Here we have a letter U. Great! And it's a green color. So let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, and U. Great! And here we have a letter called Y. So let's go again. And it's a red color. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Great! And Z. So we found letter J, violet color. We found the letter I, red color. We found the letter K, yellow color. We found the letter R, orange color. We found the letter U. The green color and we found the letter Y. Red color. Amazing! And let's continue with our crayons. So the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the green. Let's shake and open. Great! We have here different letters and the puzzle piece. And let's look closely at this puzzle piece. So we have here the princess and the castle. So we can place it where? Let's look, here is the castle and here is the princess. Great, let's do, wow, amazing. So we already have completed the castle, princess, the road, the tail of the unicorn and the hair of the unicorn. Great, let's continue. So here we have the letters for the alphabet. And here is the letter E. And it's a green color, so let's go A, B, C, D, and E. Great! And here we have letter W. And it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Great! And let's do next one. And the next one is letter F. So let's think where we can place the letter F. Let's go through A, B, C, D, E, and F. Great. And let's think the letter F is which color? It's blue color. So let's look at this letter. How does it look? Is it letter Z or letter N? Is it go here? No. So we need to turn around and it's letter Z. Orange color. It's the last letter of our alphabet. Great. Let's continue. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick, the blue crayon. So let's open, shake it. Wow, there is so many letters. We have four letters. But let's start with the puzzle. And let's turn around. And here you can see we have the eye of the unicorn. And she's smiling. So let's look at our puzzle board, where we can place it. Let's think. Yes, it could go here. Let's try to connect those puzzle pieces like this. Great! We've com almost completed this puzzle. And let's continue with our letters. And here we have letter C. And where we can place it? Let's do it. A, B, and C. And it's a yellow color. And here is the letter B. And let's think. 
where we can place. Let's go. A, B. Great, it's an orange color. And let's go through. This is letter L. It is A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And it's a green color. And the next one is letter U. And it's a red color. So let's turn around and let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Great. We step by step completing our alphabet and our puzzle. Let's proceed with the next crayons. And, the, and we only have left three crayons. So let's pick which one. This or this one. Or maybe yellow. Let's pick the yellow one and let's shake it. Wow, we have here again a lot of letters and we only have one puzzle. So let's start with our puzzle game with the unicorn and the princess. And let's turn around. And you can see here we have the unicorn leg. And we have the bush and the roses. And here you can see also we have a leg, the roses and a bush. So we can place it here. Great. Well done, and let's connect, like this, amazing. And let's go to our letters. So here we have the letter called M. So like a mother, M, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and M. Great, amazing. So let's take our next letter and the next letter gonna be S. So let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Great, well done. And the next letter that we're gonna have gonna be letter T. And letter T goes right after the letter S. So it goes here, gray, and it's a green color, letter T. And next one we have letter A, and it's a red color. And letter A is the first letter of our alphabet. Let's fit it here, gray. We almost completed our alphabet. And the next one is letter O. Let's go through each letter, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. And it's a violet color. Great. Let's see, we only have two crayons left. And we have the red one and the brown one. So which one we should open? Let's maybe open this time two of them. Let's do this one. And then let's open the next one, the brown one. Let's shake and open. Wow, we have so many things here that we need to go through. We have two puzzle pieces. And we have the alphabet letters. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. Here we have a eye of the unicorn. And also we have a horn of the unicorn. So you can see here's the horn and here's the horn. And here's also the part of the cloud. So let's place like this. Great. And let's take the legs of the unicorn. And it's at the bottom. So let's fit it here. And it's our last puzzle. Like this. Great. We completed our unicorn puzzle. Great. And let's go for the alphabet letters. So here we have the letter D. And let's go through A, B, C, and D. And this is D has the color green. And here we have the letter X. And let's go through the alphabet and see where we can place the letter X. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, I, J, A, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, 
V, W, and X. And it's a pink color letter. X, great. Let's go with the next one. And the next one is letter J. And it's an orange color. And let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. Great. And the next one is letter B. Ah, uh, B is a blue color. Mm, where we can place. And you can see that we have Q, R, S, T, U. And after U, we always have letter B here. Great, amazing. And the next one letter we have letter, let's turn around. It's letter P. And the P letter, let's go through. We can see where we can fit it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, and P. You can see it's a shape of letter P. Let's put it here. Great, we almost completed our alphabet. And we only have two letters left. And this is letter N. N. So let's go through A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, and great. Amazing. And the last one is letter H. And the letter H is here a small bridge. So it's a small bridge between those two shapes. And it's a pink color letter. So let's go through A, B, C, D, E. F, G, and H. We've completed our alphabet. And the last time that we're gonna go through the alphabet and learn about the letters. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And we have a small song about the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This is our alphabet, which we never must forget. Great, congratulations! And let's go through the colors of the alphabet. So this is the color red, this is the color orange, this is the color yellow, this is the color green, this is the color dark green, this is the color blue, this is the color violet, and this one, you know it, it's a pink color. And this one is the same like A, it's a red color. And this one, it's orange color. And this, you know it, say it, say it loud. And it's a yellow color. An L letter has the color, the same as D. And it's a green color. And the M has the same color as E. It's a dark green color. And N has the same color as those letters. And it's a blue color. And O has the violet color. P has the pink color. You can see H, P, it's the same color. And you can look at Q. Can you see at A? Look at I, A, and Q. It's the same color. It's a red color. R is orange color. S, look at C, K, and S. And S is yellow color. And T is green color, and U is dark green color, and V is blue color, and W is violet color, and X is pink color. And Y, if you look at A, I, Q, and Y is what color? Great, it's red color. And last one, Z, the last letter of our alphabet, is orange color. Great! We've gone through all the colors, through all the letters, and we also completed our unicorn puzzle. We have here the castle, 
we have princes, we have tail of the unicorn, we have small roses, we have bushes, we have rainbow, we have clouds, we have unicorn horn, we have big eye of the unicorn, we have small smile from the unicorn, we have yellow bow on her hair. Great, amazing. You're doing so amazing that we've done this puzzle in no time. See you in the next video. Thank you. Oh, wow. This second game was spectacular. Okay, so it's time for the game number three. Let's go. And today we're gonna play the Paw Patrol puzzle. So let's open it and see what we have here. Wow, we have so many shiny puzzles here. So let's try to open and combine them. Hey, look at this. So the way that we're gonna do this puzzle, we're gonna look at this image and then we're gonna try to connect the puzzle pieces. Okay, let's start. And the first that we're gonna do, we're gonna find the corner pieces, right? Because it's gonna be easier for us to start with the puzzle. So, so here we have the word cool. And here's the corner piece, right? So we can place like that. Then let's find the next one puzzle. And the next one gonna be the, also the corner piece, but I'm still searching for that corner piece puzzle, right? There is a lot of puzzle pieces here on the table, right? I can see that there is also the side puzzle. So we need also to find the side puzzle pieces so we can place them somewhere on the side, right? So let's try. Okay, I found another corner piece puzzle. So it's a star, right? And if we look here, here is the star. So let's place it on the left side, right? And we also need to find the next two corner piece puzzles. So I found one and we need one more. So we have two puzzle pieces, one and two. So let's turn around. And here we have a dog bone, right? And here we have a bow, right? So we found our four corner piece puzzles. So one, two, three, and four. So we can start to find the next one gonna be the side puzzle. So let's maybe try to find the word cool, right? Because it's gonna be easier to find the next one. So I'm gonna turn around all the puzzle pieces and see where is the word cool. So here is the word cool, also the part of the word. And here is another part for the word cool. And you can see here is the tail of the dog, right? So let's turn around all of them and see what we have else, right? So, and also there is another piece for the word cool. Okay, can you see any more? Can you see on this table any other puzzle pieces that would help us to combine all of them and have a word cool? Hmm, I cannot see them. So maybe let's start with what we have right now on the table. And then if we need to find more puzzle pieces for the word cool, then we can try to search again. So let's combine this one. Great, and let's combine this one. Okay, it's going pretty well. Okay, we almost got the word cool, right? And I can see here that there is the small part of the word cool. So I guess it goes like this. Great, we have a word cool, right? This is letter C. This is letter O, this is letter O, and this is letter L. Great, well done. So then you can see on this image we have a dog. And here is the word cool. So here is the dog that we need to also find, right? So this is gonna be the next dog there. The dog that wears the red helmet. Okay, so here is the red helmet of the dog. Here is another piece that's gonna help us. Here is another piece. So let's look at the wall table. Where is another piece that would help us to connect all the puzzle pieces and give us that dog? Ah, I can see here is another part of that helmet, right? And here is another one. Mm, it seems that there is all the puzzle pieces that I could found. But if you 
see any more just let me know hmm can you see i cannot see so let's let's just combine this one so let's take this one and combine with this piece and then we have a part of the star so we can connect like this great then let's take the ear of the dog right and let's see if we can combine it here like that great it almost it we almost have the dog so we have here the face of the dog so let's combine and there is another piece with the eye and ear great you see we almost got fully completed the dog so let's maybe try with this one if it could go here no it doesn't go here but if we gonna turn around if it could go here no okay if we don't know where we can place it then it's better at the moment to leave it but i think this one is the basically the pole so we can maybe combine like this great amazing so the next dog that we need to find gonna be the yellow dog right so it wears the yellow helmet and yellow clothes so if we see the color yellow like this let's put aside and let's try to gather them can we see if there's any yellow colors and here is the a bit of yellow color right here is also a bit of yellow color you see and here is another a small part of the yellow color hmm can you see more here is the another part of the yellow color so we just need to find yellow colors even if they are small i can see here too you see here's a tiny small yellow color right here right hmm i cannot see any more any yellow color uh in puzzle pieces maybe okay this one maybe right this one looks as a yellow color okay and when we have all of them let's try to combine so maybe let's try with the yellow helmet and the bow of the dog above right and let's combine so like this great we have the eye of the yellow dog right and then let's take another piece and combine like that great you're doing really well let's turn around this and let's try it's a mouth part of the mouth of the yellow dog great and let's take another one and combine oh it goes pretty well we almost have the yellow dog that wearing the yellow helmet and yellow clothes and here you can see the small part of the yellow like this great we are doing pretty well and there is another piece where we can where we see the yellow color right like this great amazing so the next dog that we're gonna continue with gonna be the police dog that wearing the police clothes and it has the dark blue color so we need to search for dark blue color right so here is the dark blue color here is a bit of dark blue color you see here is another dark blue color here oh i see here is another dark blue color right can we see any more any of other puzzle pieces that have that dark blue color Oh, I can see here dark blue color and also we have here the yellow color. So this is the piece that we missed. So maybe we can right now try to combine. So let's do it. It goes like this. Great. Okay, so we have the puzzle pieces that that have that dark blue color. Okay, let's try to combine. Let's maybe try this one. This is the ear of the dog. And let's maybe try to leave this again and then maybe turn around hmm i think this could go like this so there is the star so this is a close of the police dog and then this is also the close so we go like this and then turn around place great so we need to find the face of the dog can you see the face of the dog somewhere can you see it yes it is here and we can easily connect those puzzle pieces with other ones. Great, you can see that we almost completed the puzzle. So this is the foundation of our puzzle, right? This was the corner pieces where 
We're the foundation of our puzzle. And then we start by looking at the color, find other puzzle pieces. And we also started with the cool word and with the star. And then we continued with closes and with the dogs, right? So, and the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the legs of the dog and pose. So let's try to find it. So here is one pole. Here is another pole, right? Here is another pole. Okay, so we have three poles. So maybe let's try to connect. Hmm, it doesn't go here well, but you can see here is the small part of the bone. So maybe we, if we're gonna move here and press like this and then try to connect the bone. Great, amazing. So then let's look at this, where we can place this one. Do you know? Can you see this puzzle? It could connect with this one. Let's do it like this. Great. And the next one, we have the pole of the police dog. And you can see it goes easily like that. Great. We almost completed our puzzle. And this one is the corner puzzle piece, right? So it's always in a corner. And you can see here is the pole symbol of all dogs. And if we press, great, amazing. So then what we need to do, we need to find the side puzzle pieces that we can place like this on the side, right? So let's find them. So we have one, two, three. So we found three. There is another four, five, and six. Okay, so let's think where we can start. And I think that we can start with the bone. You see, here is the bone and here is the part of the bone also. Here is the small part of the tail. So we can connect like this. Great. So the first side puzzle is connected. So let's search for the next one. So I think that this one is red and here is the blue. Here is the small part of the bow. You see that we only need the blue and the red color like this. Great. And let's take the next one. And the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the bone again. So if we're gonna turn around one and two, two times, and you can see here is the bone part and here is the bone. You see, it goes pretty well like this. Amazing. And then let's continue with our journey. So we have here the star and here we have the star. So we already can connect between them both like this. So we have two puzzle pieces that connected where we can place them. Can you see the two empty spaces? Yes, here's the two empty spaces. And here, if we can easily and softly press, yes, done. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. So here is the pole of the red dog. And here is the shield that inside of the shield, we can see the paw, right? So let's take the leg of the dog and let's maybe try to press. Great, amazing. And then let's take the last one. So this is the shield, this is their symbol, right? And let's try to press. Yes, we completed the puzzle game for the pole control. So we started with the corner pieces, right? With this ones, we started, then we found the word cool. Then we found the star. Then we continued with the red helmet, with the red clothes, with this dog. Then after that dog, we tried to find the yellow colors in the puzzle pieces. And then after yellow color, we tried to find dark blue colors. And then we tried to connect the side puzzle pieces. So this is the great way to complete the puzzle. We start with the corner, then we try to find the colors, and then we completed by trying to find the side puzzles. Great, congratulations. We completed this puzzle really quick. Wow, those three games were amazing and awesome. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.